All right, this is gonna be a side video. I'm trying to fix an axle, a leaky axle, and my Dremel doesn't work. It was shipped over because my dad tried to use it. It broke on him. And I think there's a loss of power here because every time I connect it and I pull back on this switch, it should turn on, but it's not. I'm gonna open it up real quick, see everything, plug power to it, and then trace the power, see where it stops. All right, so from what I can see on my Rotozip unit, uh, I think it's shorted. See the two wires melted together, I think. So I'm going to try to fix it. Either they're shorted or they're broken. I think they're broken. Because, yeah, this is, this is the whole switch, and I don't see anything burnt. I think they broke. So I'm just going to solder some new stuff on it, see how it goes. Alrighty, let's see how well it looks. Got this guy here. Alright, yep, it's everything. This looks clear. So I'm going to do an ohmage test on this cable that I'm assuming is broken. This one, it might not be, but it sure looks bad too. So again, I'm just going to test them out. I know this one has a break in it. I already tested it. So with my my meter on ohms and beeping mode, I know that sounds wrong. It's not beeping mode, but I don't care. So I'm just gonna test. See that it works. That means that the loop between these two terminals and the wires are perfect. This wire is not broken, and this wire is not broken. This is all the test is telling you. There's no broken wire between positive and negative wiring. Here, see. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing for here and here. Try to grab it real good. So I got it good. Up, oh, it broke. See that? Up, oh. broke, unbroke, broke, unbroke. So yeah, that's that. And I think the black one is bad too. I'm just gonna. Where can I trace the black one to? All right. So the black one is power. So the black one should be one of these two. It might be this one. There it is. All right, so yeah, it is power. This is frustrating. All right, I'm gonna hold this over here. All right. I'm gonna directly test the wire, see if it's broken. All right, so it seems like it's not, or it is. Anyways, I don't like the wiring hookup, so I'm just going to solder another brand new one here and call it a day. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to solder these two wires. I already put flux between the hairs. And I got some 60-40 rosin core. So I got my whirler already at 640 degrees. And I'm just going to try to zoom in. You guys can have a close-up of that weld. Or solder, sorry. No welding. I'm going to have some geeks come around and say, Oh, you got welding. It's not welding solder. Yep, that's correct. I'm just going to move the tip. And I'm going to proceed to heat up this area. And just add some to the tip. I can just suck it in and then eventually just here we go all right and there it is it started to suck in the solder so now make sure it has a nice amount take it off put this back on its place wait for that to cool need to insulate this with some tape and now, I need to do, now all I need to do after I finish this up is I need to solder another end to this other tip here. Thinking about what's the best way I can approach this. I might go under the bearing, leave it over, 
really don't know how to approach this one. Looks a bit weird. I need to look at the housing. And basically the way the housing sits. So if I have this space between the housing, maybe I can work the wire over, over here somewhere. So my switch is right here. So yeah, I have to work my way somehow to get over here. So let's see how it goes. So this is my Roto Zip Repair. Alrighty. Last Roto Zip video would be, so the white wire, if you can see here, it goes right through that crack there because I actually opened it a bit more. It looked like a U, then I just broke a bigger chip off with this and I got a bigger gap so it can go right in between. And basically what, what it's doing, how that wire is right now, is that I have it like this. It goes under the, that big wrapping of wire and it jumps over here and it's soldered over here too. And oh, I just did the black wire too. I just cut it, the excess, here's the excess, cut it off, and yeah, still looks pretty sad a bit right here, but I'll test it, it's my tool. If it was somebody else's, I'd probably do the whole wire from scratch, and probably solder it directly onto there, but it'll work. And that's it for now. Alright, now for reassembly. Let me see if I can turn on the flashlight. All right, reassembly. So take all the bolts out. Everything should be three, seven, three, seven. All right. See here, there shouldn't be anything weird going on. So she just pop back on like a champ. sure everything is legit so I think I'm wrestling against this guy right here this is a grommet a wire holding grommet all right there we go it popped right in I'm gonna need my little button here I think I might be late for it Yes, I am. This off should be that way, so I need to take off the cover again. Put this guy on. See the little tab? Just fit it in there. Perfect. All right. That looks nice. Put this guy over it. I think it'll work out now. I'm going to put the bolts back in. I think it's squared up pretty nice. Now I sort of hacked my way through. I don't have the legit torch for this. I'm actually trying to find my torx bit and at the same there it is so here it is uh, I weasel my way through this job and it's a t20 so now I'm just gonna bolt them in by hand crisscross then uh, keep going at it because in the end I'm doing this because this one broke on me I still have to send it to warranty Milwaukee and this one just died out all of a sudden so at least it's fixed now I think it'll work it should work the brushes look thick and fine no problem at all with them so the way I hacked my way through this was I put the tip in first and then I put my screwdriver in just barely away and then Right, that's tight it gets to a point where it sort of stops and that's where you should stop too. don't over torque anything or else you're gonna start stripping it this is all plastic all right So 
I got all of them. Yep, this one's good. Ah, oh, there we go. Right in. Yep, that one's good. All right, so these four up top are good. Let me check these three on the bottom just to make sure everything's legit. Yep, everything is good. Now, theoretically, I should just connect it and it should just work. So here's the plug. Hope my phone keeps charging. Put this back, hope it's off, it's off. My button is forward, so it should be off. All right, yep. Up and running. Perfect. Yep, this is good. All right, that was a great job. That was a great, that was a great fix. I liked it. So, Roto Zip Adventure.